In the village of Jambiani, Mtumwa and her family have to survive on the collection of seaweed and some small-scale fishing, or about $2 a day. Mtumwa didn't get the chance to attend school when she was growing up, but economic hardship hasn't prevented three-year-old Safia from getting the start she needs. Mtumwa has decided to send her to the community preschool. <laughs> anafahamu fahamu yake iko mara moja kwa hivyo naona bora mimi nimpeleke kule akafahamu ya kule siku kuliko kufahamu ya mu katika vijiji mu ndani ya mitaa mitaa It's Safia's first day of school. It's only a 10 minute walk from her home. Mimi mambo anafurahisha skuli anasomesha Kiarabu Kiswahili na wanafundishwa mambo hii mambo mengi tu ya swala mambo ya maana kwa hivi mambo ya kiskuli hasa usema kweli yote The teachers get training from the Aga Khan Foundation but their salaries are paid for by the community which provides the building manages the school and donates materials For Safia's mother the bottom line is whether her daughter is better prepared for grade 1. Hani ingeni kuwa watoto wetu wangesomeshwa muda mrefu hawajui lolote. Lakini wakianza hivi tokea wadogo basi tena wakaenda kule school wana wanakwenda haraka haraka wanakuwa tena wanafahamu mara moja. The conclusions of parents are borne out by independent evaluations. Children who go to the Zanzibar preschools perform better later on. This kind of success has helped the Madrasa program take root in Uganda and Kenya as well, and it's also being adapted in several other African countries.